Well, Indiana State University says it is continuing to focus and align its curriculum with workforce needs of the state, something very important uh, in our state. ISU's new packaging engineering technology program, one of six degree branding, uh, granting programs of its kind in the nation, the only one in Indiana. Plus, a master plan may transform ISU's athletic facilities into a sports district. In our Eye on Education segment this week, pleased to welcome back to the show President Deborah Curtis, who is here to talk about uh, those and other initiatives on the Terre Haute to campus. President Curtis is always welcome. Thank you, Gary. Uh, lots, lots we can talk about here. The American dream thrives at Indiana State University. That's kind of a focal point uh, you've made. What does that mean to you? Well, at Indiana State, it's part of our mission. Uh, fully 50% of our students are first generation college goers. A little bit more than that are Pell eligible, meaning low income students. And so for these students, this is a pathway mm -hmm. to an opportunity that's not been there and present in their family. Mm -hmm. So when we take a look at moving these students through their opportunities in Indiana State it really means we're a part of building and rebuilding the middle class yep. in this country. You, know, we make, uh, you talk about a metric that, that uh, shows how you're doing. Social Mobility Index College Net comes out with those rankings. Literally, just uh, hot off the presses, Indiana State, number one in the state. Uh, we, we are. We, they review nationally mm -hmm. uh, higher ed institutions for the impact the institution has on the social and economic mobility of the, its graduates. And we were number one in the state of Indiana five times out of the last six years. Well, and that's, you know, students as they leave the institution, where they go, what they do, mm -hmm. it really is a, an indicator there. It is. Um, Workforce alignment such a huge issue in the state of Indiana. There are some specific programs I think a lot of people may not know at Indiana State uh, that are really unique. Packaging, uh, package engineering technology, uh, one of only six programs like that in the country, the only one in the state of Indiana. The placement rate off the charts for that. Uh, for it that. is. It's essentially 100% placement rate. And the employers say to us, we need more. So sometimes it's important to help people understand what this is. Mm -hmm. These are young people who sit and use. Uh, uh, computer assisted design to create the kind of packaging that all of our e-commerce is engaged in using to make sure I get my products from Amazon yeah. or whomever in a package that protects them and this design work that they do is cutting edge work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really making a name for ISU with that program. Another one is cyber criminology, security studies. Again, uh, the uh, the job hiring prospects in those sectors are, are off the charts as well, and that's a big focus area. Well, it's huge, but also I usually give the example, if you graduate from Indiana State 10 years ago with computer science as your, your field, your employer's probably saying, you know what, you need some cyber security. They're not mm -hmm. saying you need a master's degree necessarily, but we work on graduate credits for mm -hmm. folks out there who need that update because we know how important it is yeah. right now. A lot going on physically uh, on the campus uh, as well. Uh, recently released master plan for what the athletic facilities and sports district, if you will, could look like, which includes a development along the Wabash River uh, uh, in, in downtown Terre Haute. Talk about that vision for athletics and what it's all about. Well, truly, we've for a long time had a campus master plan multiple presidents mm -hmm. ago, and this campus is much different than it was years ago, but we didn't include athletic facilities yeah. in that visioning. So it was well passed time to do that and three categories uh, of the vision really rose to the top for us is what could it look like to either enhance the football stadium where it is mm -hmm. or to build one on mm -hmm. campus, thus the sport district between Third and the River, mm -hmm. uh, where already our beautiful baseball stadium sits, but one of the other visions was to bring softball adjacent mm -hmm. to yeah. that and then build a facility between. And then the third, which for us to be Missouri Valley mm -hmm. uh, participants, we're the only institution in the, the conference that doesn't have a basketball practice facility. facility. Mm -hmm. And so that would be, the vision is for that to be between Third and the River as well. Uh, I have uh, time for one more question, and that is that, uh, connectivity between ISU, other institutions, Rose Holman, St. Mary of the Woods, Ivy Tech, and others in economic development. I know that's something's being talked about now and really beginning to get some traction. Well, the president's chancellor and the school superintendent and I are working together to develop a, a greater uh, alliance to be able to do work with business in the Wabash Valley. So that's a goal. But we really believe for us it's going to reach throughout the state. I just like to wrap up by saying thanks and really say to folks, take a closer look at Indiana uh, State. Yeah. Making that sell. Very good. Uh, President Deborah Curtis, a lot going on on the ISU campus as an ISU grad. I'm happy to see it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right.